Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing an updated shelf tour. The last time I did something like this was summer 2020. So it's been two years, but yeah, a lot has changed. and I'm excited to show you guys what it's changed into. Just the last disclaimer before I get right into the tour. I am not trying to brag by any means. I'm just doing this video to document this area for myself since I am going away for school again and I just wanted to give you guys an update on how things are looking, especially for those of you guys that subscribed for the merch related content. So yeah, let's just get into it. So at the top of my shelf now, I just have miscellaneous items that I couldn't really put anywhere else. I have standing dolls as I'll call them, or at least that's what my friends has them as. So I have Tata's winter one. And then in the middle, I actually have a premium photo and that's from PTD on stage for LA. I think I can't really remember, but I did receive those goods in early spring. And then behind that, I have a Koya standing doll. And then next to it, I have one of the, I actually forgot what those are called. It's a, a Dina TV kind of plush. And then right in front of Dina, I actually have this little sandy acrylic thingy from the Love Yourself tour. And then to the left i have a map of the soul seven albums those are huge so i just keep those up there to free up space elsewhere and then we'll just move down to the second section which is kind of a mess and i do have to preface this video by saying that this might be my messiest tour so on the first shelf here on the left i have my korean drama related stuff and this is just from 2020 so i have the king eternal monarch and it's okay to not be okay i have one of the books and then I have the OST photo essay and again, OST. And over here I have the script books or novels for the King Eternal Monarch. And I just have those displayed. I used to have this little vase of flowers up there, but it doesn't quite fit there anymore. So I just moved it down here and it's just sitting on a stack of the Map of the Soul seven albums. And I just have version one through four. I did open like 20 something albums of this kind on this channel, but I got rid of all the extras and now we have six copies so it's a win i did not adjust this but we have an i know up framed photo here it's just in a clear acrylic frame from muji and that is a picture of him as haram in hongcheonggi and i got that photo from the um ost and then i just have the same little premium photo that i got in a 2020 seasons greetings from a Zoo fan site and I no longer support fan sites or really buy anything from them. So that's pretty much why I just keep this one here because I don't have any new additions and I really like this photo. So I don't really mind keeping it. And then it's just sitting on top of my 2021 winter package in Gangwon. I also have like some keychains and stuff. In the second shelf, I just have my BTS album. So I have their entire discography, just the Korean one. I don't have any Japanese albums. Yeah, I was planning to start collecting them in 2019 or 2020, but I just didn't want to. I thought it would spiral out of control and now I don't really collect much. So I don't think about it anymore. And I would say that this shelf changed quite a bit. This top one as well, if you guys remember, I used to have a lot of BT21 items there, but I moved all of them and same for the shelf as well. I used to have all these standing upright and so it, I would kind of lose a lot of space at the top but now I do stack some of these. I put them horizontally like this and just stack them up and I'm able to put more so I really like what I have going on here. I just have like the same fans from 2019 so i have a cookie one and a chimmy one and i actually do use these and i also have these figures that i used to put somewhere else but i decided to put all of them here because i had again a lot of like shelf space here that i just was not using and i felt like it was a waste so i just decided to fill it up of course that makes it harder to get the albums but i don't really take them out i used to take them out quite a bit for instagram photos but i don't really post much on my collection account so it's it worked out and it's fine so, like i even was able to fit proof so i thought that was pretty impressive for the longest time i felt like i had no space left on this shelf but i just kind of had to be creative and play some tetris and i was able to move everything into place and i still have a little bit of room at the top so if i did want to fully utilize all the space like from top to bottom i could probably find a way to do that as well all right and then moving down here is the third shelf third section and this just has my chimmy dolls and i only have three of them so in the last spot i have cookie and then i have some figures 
the rest of the Funko Pops and this is the first edition so they're in their DNA outfits but they've come out with several editions since then but I didn't collect those as you can see. And then I just have the smaller figures. I think it's House of BTS, that's what it's called. And then down here, I have my DVD collection. It's kind of extensive, it's kind of not. I don't have, like, now DVDs. I don't have Hwang Yeon Um, and I'm forgetting some, definitely some musters and season's greetings from, like, 2013 to 2017, I don't have, but a lot of 2018 and on stuff I do have. So we'll start over here on the left. I have 2020, the first of its kind, winter package, and then I have the 2020 season's greetings, and then we have the 2019 summer package, and then I have the map of the soul one concert photo book. I have a photo album from map of the soul tour, which never happened, and then we have the fourth monster DVD. I never got the blu-ray because it didn't come with extra inclusions and I wasn't all about that back then and then i have the map of the soul one blu-ray and dvd and then i have the fifth muster i think it's blu-ray and dvd and then i have 2020 seasons greetings and then over here i have a soju blu-ray and then i have some memories so i have memories of 2017 all the way to 2020 and then i just have my exhibition book if you guys don't remember the exhibition, the only ex exhibition was uh, in 2018. So I have some membership kits, season greetings, and a summer package, which is the 2018 one. It's the Saipan one. And then I just have more of the perfume standees. I got those in a kind of like sponsorship video that I did for VT Cosmetics. And then moving down to this section, I just have some Blu-rays and DVDs. So we have Memories of 2017 to Memories of 2020 in Blu-ray. And then I have the Love Yourself series. So I have Seoul, New York, Europe, and again, over here. And they're so gorgeous. These are seriously prized possessions at this point because they are pretty rare and hard to find if you are starting your collection now. So I love them. And then on top, I have some wings photo essays those are for duke and then over here i have my txt album collection so i think i have all of their albums i might be missing a version or two but pretty much have their full discography from their debut album this is still kind of in order but it gets out of order here i pretty much just do it based off of size and then i can like shove the smaller the smallest versions of the chaos chapter fight or escape over there and this is just like a pre-order benefit thingy, but I really like it because I think it's like a center piece for my TXT collection. And then moving down to the last section over here, it's kind of the same as it's always been. I just have a bunch of extra albums, DVDs, and Blu-rays. I did get rid of a lot of them, so it's not, it's probably not as full as it was in the last video, but it makes me so much happier just to see the space getting cleared up. So I'm super happy about it. It does go all the way in there, but I wanted to adjust this other section that I have here. So I used to keep some of these crates on the shelf, but I decided to move everything down. And this is actually the crate that was on the shelf and it has a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. And then this has like some other stuff that I was keeping elsewhere. So I just have some Caseify cases, and mood lamps and stuff like that. They're all here and some tour related merch. It's pretty dusty here. I have a, a Got7 album too, super unrelated, but yeah. And then if we just turn over here, I have some pre-order benefits from the Seasons Greetings and Memories. And I just taped them up. They're actually like mouse pads, but I don't use a mouse. So I just leave it there. Alrighty, let's go back to the top. So I actually took off the posters that used to be on this little skinny wall here. They were falling off anyways and they were quite outdated. I haven't found posters that I really want to put up so I've just decided to keep it bare for now. And I kind of like it because it was really busy with Jimin <laughs> staring me in the eye every time I looked over here. I have these flowers. I'm actually thinking about getting rid of them but I do have a lot of them and like a big vase so it would be a hassle and a chore to get rid of them as well so for now i've just decided to keep them so i have a smaller one and a bigger one as you guys have seen before and these are all just resting on top of another mini shelf that i have and then over here i have my pangbang kun the live acrylic clock 
and it kind of works but i don't know how to set the time so i just leave it here as kind of like a family photo thing i kind of put it up on a whim and then i was going to take it down and put it back in the box and then to the right of this stuff i have a dvd slash cd player this is a dynamite one that you can decorate and stuff there's a purple and a pink version i got it from amazon during the proof release because they have those secret tracks and i wanted to be able to listen to them but it's so funny and i just never used it for that purpose i never used it in general so it's just sitting there and then i have soju the other versions that are not the blu-ray i have this one's the dvd and that one is the digital code and honestly i should probably just put some kind of sticker here just so that i know right away because it's a little hard to tell just from the front i just have these here on top of this like acrylic riser thing for displaying collections it's just an extra thing that i have from like moving stuff around on these shelves and i decided to use it to prop up these things so that i could keep some other items beneath it so resting on top of the posters that i took off from the wall i just have some add-ins and photo cards from a bunch of places actually and even some buttons those are merch from tour a lot of like tour related merch everything is resting on top of this cookie handkerchief now i did exchange it and so i just switched it out finally after like three years of using koyas this is just another billy bookcase from ikea by the way i think i've kind of pondered and contemplated about switching this one out for a taller one so that i have more vertical space and can, can just like stack stuff up because i do have a lot of merch i feel like it would be fun to display everything but i haven't really committed to that idea so i didn't get rid of this i just have my army bombs and my cup sleeves from when i used to go to those cup sleeve events i used to go to them religiously for each birthday i would try to attend like all the ones that i could find in new york city i mean i don't go to them anymore because i just don't support fan sites and this shelf it looks really empty but i usually have like a big photo frame here with like all my memories from concerts and it's just a nice little memory shelf with the army bombs i have version 3 and the special edition uh, mops tour one not the soul tour but anyways moving down i have this is a random shelf and then i have a w korea magazine this is the december 2021 edition and it has songgang in it i think i've shown you guys that i have a 2 p.m the hottest origins photo book and i have a ijuno season's greetings this is another thing it's like his merch from the fan meeting he had earlier this year and then we have some marie claire september 2021 edition this is also a songgang cover and then we have nevertheless and then we have GQ. This is the Sung Joong-gi cover for June 2021. And then I have the Love Yourself program book. I also have Hong Chung-gi photo essay. This is the business proposal OST. I have the 2 p.m. I think it's called Make It. I can't remember what the album is called. In front, I just have the Hwang yeon the notes. This is the first of the series. So I just have the Korean version sitting up front. And then we have the English and Japanese in the back as well. If you're curious what this blue book with the oranges is it's part of that season's greeting set that i got from a fan site which also included that premium photo of jigook at the top and then i also have the vt cosmetics collaboration perfumes so i just have the jigook ones and then i also have the rings from the map of the soul tour i believe these are not the adjustable kind there is an adjustable ring but i do not remember where i put it so it's kind of sad and this is just a sneak yourself little flag with Jimin. And then we come down to the last section. I have training supplies, official goods, and miscellaneous stuff. Yeah, this is pretty much a mess. Oh, this is fun though. I have this standby card for Saturday Night Live. And the only reason why I still have this is because I actually waited in the standby queue all night. And then I came back, I knocked out, I didn't hear my alarm to go back. And so I just spent the night outside for no reason. 
like <laughs> it was raining that night too and i was just there with other army it's probably one of the craziest things that i've done ever yeah i was able to keep it but if you did go i would assume that they would take it from you so you wouldn't have this but it's just like a nice memory now so i have that and then i have my official goods which honestly they're just like a bunch of random stuff i have a bunch of random stuff in here that i forgot about and lastly again miscellaneous but honestly all the drawers are miscellaneous let's move straight back up i have some poster tubes here and we'll just go over here so i have the little door sign from the muster merge and then i have bts world flag i've had this up for three years now but i really like it and yeah and then here's a little slogan that i got from the MetLife Day 2 Love Yourself, Speak Yourself concert. It just says, It actually has English there as well. And then over here, we have the last of the mouse pad thingies from the 2020 season's greetings that I decided to hang up. So I'm like breathing really heavily because we just went all around and talked about my shelf, but that's basically it it's been a long time but i hope you guys enjoyed the update on this area and yeah that's it i'll see you guys in my next video bye everyone